Oh, look at that. Brandon Herrera put up another video. This still probably isn't the sketchiest thing you guys have seen me do. Going hot. No, Brandon. No, Brandon. No! Yeah. Hey, AK guy. You are going to die. This tale starts with Brandon Herrera, a battle buddy of mine, you might say, who runs an amazing YouTube channel, which you should all go and follow even though he's an idiot. Posted a video today about the handheld firearm, because that's what he does. He does firearms, he makes them, even though I haven't seen the end result of the AK-50 yet. Posted a video about the homemade weapon that killed the former Japanese Prime Minister, Shinzo Abe. So if you haven't been living under a rock, you probably recognize this thing. It's a makeshift electrically fired pipe gun that was used just a few weeks back in the assassination of Shinzo Abe. But what stole the internet's attention was just how wacky this thing was. Today, we're going to try our best to recreate it. My goodness! How educational! How informative! There could be zero way this guy messes up a homemade firearm considering he makes his own and has an FFL. <laughs> okay, okay. Now the video starts off swimmingly telling people that hey, it's hard to ban guns everywhere because people can make it on their own. This is how simple it is, but don't do it at home. This is not a DIY build it video. In fact, I heavily discourage you from trying to do this yourself. But this is our attempt to try to recreate it and test it for educational purposes. Practice proper safety measures. Well, you, you, well, I mean, you say that, but do you do it? There's no projectile. We're just shooting a blank right now. It's just powder alone, so shouldn't have any pressures that are too crazy. Knock on wood. We'll see what happens. Nice. That tube got so fucking hot. That was predictable. You fucking idiot. So we have beaten the absolute hell out of this uh, this lead sled. It's been through a lot over the years. We've got one more mission left for it though. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fixture this and basically just hose clamp it down to the front of this, uh, what's left of the lead sled and uh, see what happens. See if A, this gun, gun. See if this thing uh, fires, see if it, you know, explodes. Uh no, see if it explodes, huh? Well, so it seems as though you might anticipate something bad I bet you'll be a safe distance away, making sure that should something bad happen, you'll be completely fine, right? Right? Oh, that looks about good. Probably. Now, because I don't want to be holding the damn thing when it goes off, uh, I'm going to be remotely firing it with these wires, touching these to the battery when I'm ready to set it off. Now, since we're using a wire like this, we could theoretically make this as long as we wanted to uh, in order to be as safe as possible. Smart distance, I said that. Safety, all of these are good things that you're taking into account. That's the wire we got. So, uh, yeah, it's not optimal, but it'll, it'll chooch. Let me stop you right there. Chooch. Hmm. You're telling me at the beginning to be safe. You're telling me that you could be safe and how to be safe during this demonstration. And then you're ignoring all of the things that you just said to do. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see how it works out for him. Let's face it. This still probably isn't the sketchiest thing you guys have seen me do. I'm willing to bet that you severely underestimate yourself here, Brandon. Going hot. Yep, let's watch it again in slow mo, folks. There, pause it, right there, there. That is the look of a man who realizes, fuck. And so many words and sentences can be put against this face right here in that emotion just fuck because i'm pretty sure everything that i just said about this whole event leading up to what it is now that you were fucking prepared for just happened right in front of your fine fucking beautiful face and that 50 gallon jug of water right by you oh my god i'm sure that assisted with the concussive blast well brandon welcome to the club now we all have tbis you are supposed to be the smart one you are the chosen one you were my brother anakin i loved you i mean effect on target was incredible oh and 
what target was that, Brandon? Your eardrums? Your beautiful full head of hair? Do you remember when I told you not to fucking do this at home? Uh, this is why. So, our powder charge here, I would say, measured in at probably way too fucking much. Oh, oh, oh that seems very scientific. What, what type of unit of measurement is that, Brandon? Huh? Is it next to a gigafuck or a fuck ton or a dick load? This used to be a piece of thread on that steel pipe. That's now just completely just fucked. Yeah, yeah, Brandon, good job. You've just survived technically an IED explosion, and now you're gonna finger fuck the twisted piece of metal so you can get tetanus and slivers in your finger. Good job. Good job. Give this guy a fucking Darwin Award. If you don't put this on your gosh dang Darwin Awards, Brandon, integrity check. I don't know. If you were holding the gun like this, I don't think that would be a very good day for you. I don't think it'd be a very good day for you if you weren't hiding behind 50 fucking gallons of water, you dickheads! Let's maybe reset and try that again with a little less powder. Oh, great! Let, yeah, let's go for round two! How scientific are you gonna be with this one? I swear to God, if you don't use a longer wire after learning what just fucking happened, I'm gonna choke slam you straight to hell like Kane and the Undertaker! WWE! Tombstone coffin WrestleMania bullshit. So what we're doing now, we're doing what we're doing slightly differently is uh, before we were having to load up powder to get to the flash hole here, which means we we're having to use a little bit more powder than maybe we probably should. Understatement of the whole freaking episode. You think you think you used a little bit more powder than you should? So I think what we're gonna try here is four of the uh, the bigger diameter balls mixed in with a bunch of smaller shots. So. Just fuck it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, just guess it. Just just estimate how much bullshit you're gonna put down this fucking barrel, right? Cause that's worked out so far. We've learned from the first mistake and we're deciding to, oh no, I'll do the same fucking thing. God dang it. Just because I feel like we have to as a feature of the channel, we're gonna do a white claw penetration test. Why is that 50 gallon drum still sitting there? Is he not gonna move it? Is he not gonna learn from what just fucking happened? POV, you think that touching grass is much dishonorable. This idiot stays at the same place again! Again! <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh, oh no, 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 did something fucking wrong happen again? Is that what happened when you just guesstimate and fist fuck jam black powder and random bits of shit into a fucking pipe bomb? Astounding. Where is the other barrel? Yeah, well, you're not the only one, Brandon. You're not the only one astounded at what they're seeing. <laughs> Great, grand, wonderful. Now it's the missile going backwards. Oh, okay. Did we, did we learn nothing? Did we learn nothing here, Brandon? It slipped out. Probably should have double checked after that first one kind of, you know, grenaded uh, to see if the, uh, the hose clamps were still tight. This one shot right out the rear. Mother of God. You think, hmm, huh? You, you think that maybe securing the explosive would be a good idea? Brandon, huh? It doesn't hurt that a lot of the, uh, the energy uh, went into shooting this rearward and not, you know, fully contained and uh, firing the projectiles outward. But I'm just throwing this out there. I'm no chemist, all right? Well, I'm no scientist like Brandon Wheeling and dealing and mixing and mashing and creating firearms, but I'm pretty sure when it comes to explosives, you shouldn't just, I don't know, throw things together and slap it together. Oh, slap it together like a slap round. I wonder if there was a YouTube guy who fucked around with some sort of round that was overpowered and it ended up poorly for him. Oh, God. If only I could remember. All in all, I don't see any obvious bulging. This actually survived. This, this did its job. I'm surprised you actually survived. Good Lord, man. You're giving everybody a heart attack. You're AK Jesus. That doesn't mean that you're gonna die and then boop, 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 get resurrected the next day for well, three days. So I think it's fair to say that we have not quite perfected the, the pipe gun. 
However, with a little dialing in, it's dialed in. You're lucky you didn't have to dial 911. You should have came out looking like Jason Pierre Paul and just like messed up random fingers gone. This close, you feel this close. Well, I'm sure you learned your lesson, even though you ignored all previous information and then ignored what happened just to have it happen again. I'm sure you learned your lesson, Brandon. And just remember, I'm watching you. You know what would have prevented that flipping pistol from going off if it had a trunnion? Trunnion, Brandon! Trunnion! Uh, trunnion! AK Jesus! AK Jesus! This guy's about to see Jesus!